Tonight, a new tool to fight algae blooms is getting its first run in Utah. And so far, the scientists behind it say they are getting breakthrough results. Yeah, they're closely watching the progress at Manaway Reservoir, and that's where new specialist Mike Anderson is live with a look at what this really means for water all across the state. Mike? Yeah, Mike, you know, they're calling this a breakthrough in water body restoration. You know, where they're able to take uh, big steps in removing that harmful green gunk from the water. And for now, they'll continue to watch closely with hopes for doing this to other reservoirs, even here in Utah. A day at the lake can be relaxing, even just a short walk. I love it. It's close and I don't know, I love the the scenery that's back behind it. Paxton Isom enjoys coming here from Brigham City and he's seen it look not so great. That pea soup green that often comes in the warmer months. The end of the summer is usually when you see the most drastic changes with it. It's not only gross, but there's the harmful cyanobacteria that comes with the algal blooms. It made for an ideal testing ground for the folks at Blue Green Water Technologies. As for the size of the lake and the depth of the lake, uh, we're very pleased with the results. Jan Spin is president over Blue Green's Americas division and part of the team that placed their product in the water last September, which oxidizes the algal blooms, causing them to suffocate. And what happens is that these harmful algae blooms become a giant carbon sink. And by us sinking that carbon to the sediment level and then allowing it to go back into the natural processes, uh, we restore the biodiversity, but more importantly, restore photosynthesis. Their scientists are watching closely, and so far they see the results are pretty clear. They're now looking at where they can take it next. 50% of our oxygen comes from water bodies around the globe. And when these water bodies become infected by harmful algae blooms or red tide, there no longer photosynthesis is taking place. A reduction of almost 13,000 metric tons of carbon dioxide, better sustaining wildlife, bringing back migratory birds. These are important steps that we're taking today that will make a big difference in the future. And Spin says they'd love to work on Utah Lake at some point in the future. Their treatments are free to the local governments as they work with uh, companies that need to become more carbon neutral to get them to sponsor the work. Back to you. Mike, the before and after difference in the color of that water is pretty amazing. Thanks.